when dry brushing doesn't work anymore, time to do a pigment wash. Hello everyone, Hugo from Ichiban Studio and today we're going to be looking at how to make a pigment wash. But first of all, we have to paint whatever we're going to be doing the pigment wash on it and it happens to be a Puppets of War um, uh, super base. So we're going using cold, uh, which is cold, a gray uh, from uh, Minotaur range and just painting the little head there to simulate rocky texture for sort if we can say that and then uh, we're just using the airbrush badger chrome right there and we're doing the bark uh, with Minotaur uh, paint just to simulate the earth and then moving on uh, we're gonna be doing uh, the highlights uh, the gray highlights with badger fur just to make our uh, little Necron looking head a little bit more vivid and nice Why not use a little bit of OSL? So using a troll hide and uh, a little bit of skull white. My troll hide first and then after that a little bit of skull white mix in it. I'm just doing uh, some uh, little bit of OSL in the eye just to give it a nice little look. And now on to the dry brushing. Uh, using concrete slab from Badger Minotaur. Uh, paint range, we're just doing a dry brushing on the neck run head. Uh, just to make it, you know, stand out and have the, the nice feature uh, so it looks like a little rocky texture and everything. And um, then after that we're going to be moving on into doing another dry brush, but that this time on the base itself with the uh, earth from Minotaur paint again. Just um, to give the raised edge a little bit of more of a highlight if you would say so. And here we have the finished product before the actual pigment wash. Onto the pigment wash itself, so I'm mixing two pigments from Vallejo uh, together just to achieve a color that I'm comfortable with. And we're going to mix it with water. It's really important when you're doing the pigment wash that you mix it with water and not alcohol. Because you're going to see in the next step, now we're applying the, wa the, the, the pigment wash. A lot on the base itself and a little bit in random places on the rock itself to simulate the dust okay really important to use the water because you're gonna see in the next picture in the slide uh, it, it doesn't look that nice and if you if you apply with alcohol the problem that you're gonna have is that it's gonna fix the pigment in place we don't want the pigment to be fixed once it's dry it looks like this so this is what we're gonna be achieving is that we're gonna take a brush right now and we're gonna actually clean it up so it looks more natural and more dusty and not just like pigment that dried in place so if you used alcohol you could not do the cleaning phase that we're doing right now so you're just cleaning up until you're satisfied with uh, the repet the repetition Ooh. when you're satisfied where the pigment is and the density of it and then after that we're gonna apply another pigment wash just to be able to uh, to really have more defined colors and different colors, not just one color of dust. Mixing in again two, uh, two other colors for the pigment wash and then uh, the second pigment wash, you're gonna see it's gonna be more reddish brown and we're gonna apply it again on the model in random spot, trying to cover the rest or the areas we didn't cover with the previous wash and also overlap it. So we, we really have like two different colors and the, the dust or the dust effect will not be uh, just you know monotone just with one color and same thing as before you just the last cleaning you clean it up until you're satisfied with it and then once that is done just uh, matte coat varnish the thing to fix the pigment in place and you're done as you can see on the picture on the left side we have the pigment wash and on the right side we have with no wash this is tech this technique is really 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 up to you guys uh, if you don't like the look of the pigment wash you could go in and just leave it with a dry brush and the pigment wash might look a little bit more natural and, and dusty and feel but this is, is just a personal choice of what kind of colors or what kind of um, of effect that you want to achieve and uh, it's really a personal technique if you like the more caricature look then you just go with uh, with without the pigment wash if you like the, the more natural look you go with the pigment wash it's all up to you guys so I'll leave you with a picture of the finished product and another base that uh, I also had some pigment wash on it I hope you enjoyed the video this was Hugo from Ichiban Studio and I will see you on the next video cheers for watching